Ui. So, I'm probably gonna trash talk Prusono Studio One 6 video editor in a few seconds and or minutes. But first, let me show you how to get rid of the troubleshooting stuff. The read only message. Where do I have it? Right here in German. This video will be, god damn it, German and English, English mixed mostly because all my text is German here. Ignore those funny pictures. This is the German message. Schreiben des Videos viel geschlagen. And the English one would be felt to write video. If you get this message from working in Presonus Studio One right here and try to export a video, then there are two things primarily you can do and should do. The first thing is where do I have my videos saved? Studio One here, that's a Studio One MP4 and the M4V format. And this one, it, it was a little bit more troubleshooting than just that, sadly. First, click on your folder with the right mouse button. Eigenschaft in these properties at the bottom, properties, and there you have the German word Schreibgeschützt, the English word read only mode. You should try to deactivate that. You don't need to press any of those things. This maybe you can troubleshoot, try that if it not works. Übernehmen is the right side button and then OK. This message pops up, which is a big problem. So you have to actually press this one, the top one. That means that you can write stuff. Then you can <laughs> judge this here too. I can Google Translate that for you maybe and throw it on the black screen side here. And then you should be capable of doing that. But as soon as you export one video, your folder will always automatically give you this thing here. So it's automatically pops up again into read only mode, which is even more troubleshooting. And here it's the same thing on the second folder I made to export into, which is it's it's troubleshooting. I hate it. it it's weird, I don't know why that happens, maybe it's different but different systems and exporting methods. But that's pretty much what I've been getting. The second thing that will help is if you go to... <laughs> Not this one. If you go here, Studio 1.6, Properties and uh, compatibility, compatibility, Run as an Administrator. So running it as an administrator might also help you i'm gonna try to extract something right here but i will have to warn you insta instantly down there you have your DAW and your cpu and i saw extreme cpu spikes so i'm gonna pause the video real quick and test if that actually works So I've just extracted this short file, which isn't that CPU heavy, into this folder. It just automatically renames itself. It's a small thing here. This one was the six minute video who took way too long, way too long. So I've got this selected. Um, Where's my folder? I'm going to show you the folder real quick. So is it in read only mode? No, it's not. So it is, it is Schreibgeschützt, this read-only mod, and it won't let me change it that quickly. I don't know why. The first time, if you do make a new folder, it should work immediately the first time. Um, that's the wrong folder. It's the wrong folder. Paste this place. There we go. Now I can just change this into read-only. Check it. And this one will still be fuck <laughs> okay okay yeah no. run as administrator it will be the easiest thing apparently okay let's export this then to here and see if this works just fine maybe 
here. Okay, running it as administrator apparently is the easiest solution. Even though it previously did work with Schreibgeschützt off. But it's it's weird. It's weird. It's just troubleshooting weird. Okay, okay. The video editor, which is a bare minimum video editor, pretty much, I would say. For example, my latest music video is in this folder. That's the cool new intro I made, for example, with Film 4. Because that video editor has picture and picture functionalities, I was capable of creating myself this trippy little thing with kip ups. Which. In Studio One, it's just cutting, which is easy at least, and, well, filters down there, like your effects and filters, like DSs, Fed channels, limiters, which is, well, good for audio mixing, but if you have your song finally mixed and mastered, then you probably don't need the extra audio functionalities we like limiters for your music video okay so we have now i've opened up studio one six oh god i hate to pronounce that the video editor here film fourth which i'm mostly using which was free beforehand and is still free on windows 7 and windows 8 and movie maker the old windows movie maker which you might find still on reddit if you look hard enough, Film 4 is what I'm mostly using right now, even though they had um, they put a price tag on their video editor, 20 euros, which isn't that bad, but it has its own troubleshooting problems a lot of the time, sadly. So if we drag here, drag and drop that intro in here, I need to get this smaller, so... That's weird that it doesn't work right now. Okay, this is now mind boggling because I can only search stuff if I don't run Studio One as an administrator. I previously was running it as an administrator and I couldn't well put the video into the folder also needed to run this on videos or video Windows audio otherwise my recording software this baby here can't record my voice it's just troubleshooting all over the place where are my pieces the north boat there those pieces okay so if you if you're running studio one as an administrator you can't put the videos far video files in it if you aren't running studio one as an administrator you can't export it it's just it's just mind-boggling the troubleshooting it's killing me i don't know why i put myself through this okay that's pretty much the difference so everything you can do now here is either put some effects on it down here below which is this one i believe and cut fade in and pull apart stuff which is weird in its own right because well look at that what the hell is that supposed to be so i was editing a call of duty video beforehand an old one with my audio effed up and if I want to cut out a bot like, like that, then I can cut that out, of course. But if I actually want to slide that in, it often is just slightly messed up and overlapped. And that's the biggest problem. You actually can get that. You actually can, and your properties... In your studio one properties invited the properties enhanced properties you can actually get that pretty close so you actually snap better but sometimes it's just a little bit overlapped or there's a little space in between and it just does messy things it's it's 
a bad video editor in my opinion it's like from everything i've read people will say oh yeah studio one has now a video editor but it's the bare minimum and it's not really any good the good thing is that you can do those audio edits especially with effects but if i record right here my recording chain is anyways where is it filters it's not not this one this one has a little filter a few filters on it but damn look at that there are so many filters on there limiter a few plugins like the rough rider compressor shadow hill mastering compressor i don't need to after process most of my audio just old gameplay videos like this one but even there it's not quite that good let's close it down here's the old windows movie maker which is also pretty much the same thing drag and drop that into it i can't even do that and the file is also already prepared where well, you can also edit fade-ins you can edit the audio extra somewhere somehow i don't remember quite but it's still one of the best free video editors and you can add stuff you can only add one song from what i remember but it does have a lot of things going for it and it's free if you can find it and get it to work that's the next thing sorry if that's not a tutorial for that and my favorite one film fourth open with film fourth which has the well first of all you can split the audio here also where is it audio splitting there audio trennen which you can do your own cuts here mostly things like that which therefore makes it a little bit more simple the fade-ins are quite trash on film 4 a little bit better on windows movie maker and the biggest thing for film 4 what they have going for them is the picture and picture mode which is what i use all the time for editing yep i'm just throwing a meme on there so i don't quite see a reason why i should use studio 16 at all and the video editing suit because the video editing suit is pretty much just uh, just bad it's just bad okay if i cut stuff here i can't drag it away like in studio one but if i cut parts away it automatically puts it in a place where the transition is there that's a big problem from studio one yeah sorry to well talk to you once video editors down but i just got myself the demo and besides having pro tools pro tools blah, 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 the equalizer the new equalizer the upgraded one and the ds so it's not having much for me in there and i do make my own music with studio one for that's pretty much where my projects are and where i did most of the work with extra software and plugins yeah is there anything else to show you that's one year old that's also existing in studio one five apparently don't know where they introduced that feature i've just seen it recently and wanted to test it for myself and i hate it and that's the read only stuff repair corrupted files i oh god damn it that's it out of my way to that which is confusing in its own right i feel like and i don't want to dive into that yeah it's a lot of weird troubleshooting it's a lot of weird troubleshooting i'm not happy with that film for for 20 euros does do the trick for me most of the times even though i still have troubleshooting as a video editor studio one doesn't quite bring it i'm sorry to tell you that yeah also the cpu spikes it's overheating your pc so much that you can't do anything next to that especially with longer videos from what i've seen i've just well where are they audio reworks those those six minute videos 
um, probably have shown you the clip already, but the CPU spikes are just massive and uh, the mouse cursor is just jumping all over the place so I couldn't do work in the background, which is mostly what I do when I have a video exporting out of the software film forth. I mostly work on other stuff in the meantime like thumbnails and I can't do that with Studio One because it's yeah so CPU heavy and I have a 3000 euro PC which should handle that and I'm sure on other lab notebooks or PCs it will be worse ah <sighs> oh, shit I'm gonna end it here yeah that's troubleshooting troubleshooting Jones over here that's me I'm a troubleshooter yo peace out peace out